former NRL star Willie Mason has labeled the decision by a group of manly players to deliberately break curfew is the ultimate mark of disrespect to coach Trent Barrett. Four Sea Eagles have been fined $1,500 for breaking team curfew in Gladstone earlier this month, as the fallout continues from their horror away trip against the Gold Coast. It's claimed the players visited a strip club following their round five loss to the Titans, just hours after Barrett told them to return to their hotel room. Captain Daly Cherry Evans has also come under fire for his role in the dramas, after he was fined $10,000 following two altercations with the banished Jackson Hastings but Mason, who played at the Sea Eagles in 2015, says the player's actions in disobeying Barrett is the biggest concern, in this circumstance, six people have gone out and Trent Barrett's gone, here's a curfew. That's just the biggest F asterisk 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 you to a coach I've ever seen, the former NSW and Kangaroos forward told Skippy TV, it's that pack mentality when you're out and you're having a couple of beers and you're getting beat and everyone's getting pissed off, you're pissed off at the coach, you're pissed off at the trainers, you're pissed off at the players, everything just seems to be just all boiled up, that's when you start breaking curfews and you pretty much tell everyone to beat it and you just run your own race, that's the worst thing that can happen to Trent Barrett, is his team imploding and having no respect for him or the club, Manly have refused to name the four players fined for privacy and welfare reasons.